vlogmas day three and as you can see i'm not looking great because i've had a very lazy day i've got up i felt like rubbish and haven't bothered getting dressed today but i didn't want to miss my vlogmas i didn't want to do that to you guys so i'm gonna stick some lenses in um I'm going to whack my Christmas headband on and I'm going to do some skincare. I'm going to have a chat. I'm going to put some nails on, these little sparkly ones for Christmas. I actually have got some Christmas nails coming. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd just do a bit of skincare and have a little chatty one with you. So yeah, if you want to see me um, do my skincare, just continue to watch. So I got a cup of tea. Oh, needed that. And then well, I'm just going to put some lenses in. Now, the lenses I'm going to use are some coloured ones, but you're not going to notice. They're like a, um, they're very discreet. They, they barely change my eyes because my eyes at the moment are like a hazy colour. My eyes change colour all the time. Sometimes they go really dark brown and sometimes they're hazily. So... Let me just take my glasses off. I'll whack these in. If you are squeamish about contact lenses, people touching their eyes, look away now. Is that the right way? No, that's inside out. Just gotta make sure they're the right way. Now I've been doing this for years, so I'm not squeamish at all. Also as well, if you wanna know how to put them in, what you do, you can get it on your finger like that if you can see you've got to make sure that it's like a bowl shape if the edges are sort of kicking outwards a little bit it's inside out so this is my right eye so what i do is i concentrate on one thing looking forward or you can look down but i look forward i pull down my eyelid carry on looking forward and just roll it onto the eyelid Blink a few times, and there we go. So you see, it's not changed my eyes much. This eye just looks a bit big, I suppose, but yeah, the colour's on the outside. So just wipe the contact solution away from my eye because my eyes aren't watering, it's the solution that's coming out of the contact lens. Right, so that one's done. I'll show you again with this one. Gotta make sure it's not kicking out. So that looks fine. Facing forward, eyelid down, and then just roll it onto the eye. Blink a couple of times, and there we go. So, ooh, I think this ring light is a little bit bright. I'm going to turn it down. No, yesterday's uh, vlogmas was shocking. I'm really, really sorry about the lighting. The um, how's that one? That looks a bit dull, don't it? Does that look a bit better? That's a bit better, isn't it? The lighting yesterday was far too bright. I had a um, flashback from a powder under my eyes. And I'd watched this video about changing the format on your iPhone for your camera. And it just didn't work for me. It made it all blurry. Now... I tried to watch it on Matty's phone, my phone, and the telly, and it all looked awful. So I really do apologise, and hopefully this has gone back to normal. Now, I am getting a camera. I'm definitely getting a camera. I've said, if I don't get one before Christmas, I'm definitely going to look in the sales. But, yeah, I want a camera. I've chosen the camera I want, so... I'll show you it when I get it and then so I'll show you it on my iPhone and then I'll switch and then you can see the difference then. I mean I can always tell the difference when 
um, when vloggers have, you know, a better camera. But, you know, you can do it with your phone. I've got a sniffly nose now. That's annoying. I'm just going to get some tissue. But I think that's a bit better. <laughs> I look, my nose looks red now from blowing it. Um, yeah, perfectly fine to use your iPhone. Um, but yeah, well, I just, you know, because I'm, I do so many videos and I just, I just, I just want them to look quality. And do you know what? I'm, I've got another reason why I want to carry on with these videos as well. And it came to my attention that I am so, so lucky to have so many videos of Isabel because she made her own videos on TikTok. I mean, she did have her own YouTube channel. I don't even know what happened with that, but YouTube took it down and they won't give us the footage. So I don't know what to do about that. I've, I've emailed them because Google obviously own YouTube and they're saying for legal reasons they can't give it to me and I had to forward her death certificate. Now, we only had the one from the coroner um, because the death certificate at the time hadn't been done because the case was still ongoing. Um, and obviously said the whole story. I, I put a link in there as well to like a newspaper so they could actually see it was her because of obviously a profile picture and her picture being in the paper and still we said no so I, d I literally don't know what to do now and I'm, I think because it's been so long that I don't even know if they'll have the footage anymore so that's really sad but she had three or four TikTok accounts so I've got so many videos obviously I made videos of her I took loads of photos and whatever so I thought you know god forbid if anything happened to me my family have got that to look back on and you know it's really really sad but it's um it's lovely to have those videos i'm welling up um yeah it's lovely it's lovely to have those videos to you know some people just don't have that they don't have that or they only have a few and i have thousands literally thousands right no more tears now to vlogmas let's get my reindeer ears on because this is what izzy would love pow well that let's um i'm just gonna use this hair brush here just gonna let's quickly brush my hair first get all the little knots out like that put my headband on push it back like that <laughs> it's like kinking out that like 60 style do you know what i had my hair like this like kinked out at my last year of secondary school on my school photo if i can um put a photo in i'll put one here of um, my last school photo and you can actually see where i've got it like flicked out like that my eyebrows are so small in it as well it's funny you'll laugh you'll laugh hopefully i'll be able to put it in there my mum's got it so i'll get it yeah, I'm just gonna I'm literally just gonna go over my face with a bit of skincare and have a chat. So this time of year is obviously very very hard for some people. I know that very very well. This is gonna be our third Christmas without Isabel. Um, now, when people said to me before, um, time is a great healer, it sounds awful saying it like that, but do you know what? It is, it, it does get better as time goes on, I promise you. So, if, if any of you are going through that now, I promise you. I promise you, you will start to, it doesn't get, I'm not saying it gets better, it just change, things change, the way you feel changes, and I know that sounds awful, like coming from a mother that's lost a child, and I will never f get rid of that pain, that pain will never go, it will never go, um, 
but you learn to deal with things better and in a different way. Um, but you, re you really don't understand that unless you go for it yourself, I think. Or I was going to say if you have children, but still people with children, they, they wouldn't know about pain unless they'd experienced it themselves. My throat sounds really croaky today. My throat, my voice, whatever. So this isn't going to be a massive upbeat um, sort of vlog. I mean, it might change that because you know what I'm like, bloody mad I am. Come out with random stuff. But yeah, I just used some of my micellar water. Um, this is just a combination, an oily skin one. Right, next thing I'm going to use, I don't, know if, I don't know what order you're supposed to do this in, but I've got this Energizing Tonic, um, which is the Caffeine Tonic by Revolution. And then I've got this, um, it's a bit mucky, Balance Me. You see that there? Uh, it's a BHA exfoliating concentrate uh, with salicylic acid. I'm sure I put this one on first. So... And a cotton pad. And do, do you know what? what? Cotton pad. Cotton pad. I used this last night and when I came up to bed, my skin was bad. I mean, it still looks quite bad, but most of these here now have gone down like 50% overnight. They were so bad. My chin was really bad, but it just looks a bit red at the moment. Um, It was terrible. I have one up here as well, I think. Oh yeah, there's one there as well. That's gone down loads. And it's from using this, I think. So I need to start using salicylic acid in my skincare. Because this is tiny. This isn't going to last long. And I got one of those in... Was it in Glossy Box or was it Look Fantastic Box? It was in one of them. I don't get them anymore. I've, um, I've stopped that subscription. I think it's a bit of a waste of money, to tell you the truth. I'd rather, like, you guys ask me to test things or just buy things to test myself. Like that. You know, I'm not saying in the future I won't use them again. But at the moment, I just, um, yeah, I've just stopped using them. So that's feeling a little, it doesn't sting, but it's just like this little, it's like a tingly, tickly feeling on the skin. Actually feels quite nice. So now while that's still a little bit damp, I'm going to use this tonic and just go over this tonic <laughs> and just go over that. I like that. I've also got something to show you guys that I received in the post last night after I had done my video my vlogmas day two and it's from i'm pretty sure it's from a subscriber but there wasn't a note so you know i'm not telling anyone to put a note in or anything but i'd love to actually say thank you to the actual person but yeah thank you to whoever sent this i'm going to show you now actually it's come in this box with fragile stickers on it it was posted through every um, in this bubble wrap. Just move that out of the way. Sorry, Bucky. My bed isn't made, by the way, so if you can see a messy bed, I haven't made it, and it's because I want to change it. I chose the sheet, so I'm just going to leave that for a minute. So look how gorgeous this is. Look at that. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Um, but it's another wax melt and oil warmer, which I love. You know I do. Um, it's from L&P Home and Gifts. So if anyone wants to get one of these, that's where it's from. I don't think it says anything else about that. So L&P are lesser, lesser pavy limited. Um, and there's a, there's a website on here, www.leonardo.co.uk. So it says, Desire Remo Ramona. Desire Aroma on the top. And let's 
open it up. A little warning leaflet on the top. Yeah. Oh, look. Beautiful. It's even got even got angel wings on the top look at that stunning it's like a um, ceramic it's like a mat so you put the candle in there and it must shine through it must be like a really thin ceramic where you actually see through it i'm not going to put any wax melt in it yet but i'm going to put a tea light in it um, when I go downstairs and I'll quickly put what it looks like with the tea light shining through. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. And there on the top. You can see it coming through the top as well. Oh. I love it. So whoever has sent me this thank you so much it is beautiful gorgeous but that is beautiful look at look at the detail on that that's stunning stunning so whoever sent me that thank you so much you you know me so well that is it's just so personal it's like I don't know, like, some people that know me buy me presents and you think, do you know me? But this, I mean, come on, gorgeous. So, let me just pop it back in the box. I don't want it getting knocked about on my bed. Rocky's on my bed at the moment. So, if you hear snoring, it's my French bulldog. Uh, most of you that watch this know Rocky. But if you're new here, welcome. Um, I hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button. I know I'm looking a bit worse for wear at the moment. I don't always look like this. Um, but, you know, I do have down days. So, it is part of my channel. It's part of my journey. It's part of my new life. And, yeah. I mean, most of my vlogs are jolly hauls and chatty vlogs and stuff. So, yeah. It's not all down. My subscribers will tell you that. Oh, let's drink me tea. Right, what am I going to pop on next? Next, I'm going to pop on some of my... I'm going to do some of my hydrating mask. Because once this is actually settled in, then I will do my... Um, moisturizer and i always add some a bit of oil in it moisturize and then put extra oil on after because this time of year my skin goes so dry so i'm just going to use this um serene or sirene aqua hydrating mask which i got out of the look fantastic box look how much i've still got left it's a huge tub and you don't need too much it smells Smells like minty and refreshing. So I'm just going to use that much. And then just pop it all over. And then I just let that sink into my skin. I mean, you can actually whack it on and then go to bed. But I like to put this on, let it sink in, and then pop some moisturiser over the top. Or you can do it the other way around. You can put your moisturiser on, let that sink in, and then put this on. But I do it different ways all the time. Whatever you fancy, really. Whatever you fancy, whatever works best for you. Uh, I've got um, quite dark circles around my eyes at the moment. It's looking a bit dark. Like that'll do. I'll tell you what I bought the other day that I didn't show you. My spoolie. Do I show you my spoolie? has got all that soap and wax. I mean, look at that. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. So I'm going to try and wash it. 
I'm sure I'm sure I have before. I haven't had it that long, but yeah. Well, I haven't had it that long. I don't want one about. <laughs> I went online. I think I got these from Amazon. Got all these little, just these little ones. I think there's 50 in here. Little pink sparkly ones. They cost me like 2 99 or something. And, you know, you can use them. I don't just use them once and then throw them away. I think I'll get like two or three goes out of it with my um, eyebrow wax or gel. Depends what I'm using. Or I use that soap sometimes, which I'm, I'm really running out of. So I've ordered some new stuff. I'll show you it when it comes. Can't remember what it's called now. But it's off TikTok shop. Who else is addicted to buying stuff off TikTok shop? Who else has bought some fake Uggs off TikTok shop? Because I have. They're on the way. I'll show you when they come. Suck me in. I did used to have some Uggs when they were out many years ago. And I loved them. But I've just gone for these fake. I think I've gone for the khaki coloured ones. Because they looked looked a bit different. And I've got a nice khaki coat. I think they'll go with. You know when I'm dressed in like casual. Um, I've got quite a few different khaki. I've got a khaki dress. A shirt. A, like, a, like a really baggy sort of shirt top sort of thing. Yeah I do like my khaki. But I haven't worn it for ages so truth. I wore my khaki dress the other day underneath my jumper. Um, but that's it really. Right, that's still a little bit tacky, but I think that's all right to go over with the moisturiser. So I'm just using the Lucura one. I have got night cream somewhere. I think it's downstairs, but day cream, night cream. I think it's just got SPF in it, but oh well. Just for the video, I'm using my Lucura Healthy Glow Rose Oil. This, is, this stuff is amazing. If you think I've got glowy skin at the moment, it will be this that I put under my um, foundation and the Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish Complexion Boosting Primer and Illuminator, this stuff. And I go for the shade Fair. It will be that. I mean, I use like a glowy... Um, I didn't put my oil in then, did I? I do use a glowy. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna put some first and then put the oil in after. I do use a glowy foundation. I'll show you the foundation I've been using, which I think I did show you because I get it from B and M of all places. I get it from B and M because. That's the only place I've seen it really. So at the minute, so this is my new one. And then I'm still using this one. This has got a tiny bit left, so I'll be going on to that one soon. So this is the W7, it's Glow Time Radiant Foundation. It's it's amazing. It makes your face look so glowy. Um even this this moisturizer does so i'm going to go in with my oil i was going to put my oil in the moisturizer but i started like rubbing my hands together you know when you're talking so just use a bit of that that was about four or five drops and then fill that in drop make it extra extra glowy and extra extra moisturizing All of it. I mean, it just it just makes me look a bit healthy already from when I first came on camera. I'm gonna put some lip stuff on. I think I'm just gonna put my Dr. Paw Paw on with the tint in it. This is the one that Tara got me, Tara Beauty, when we did the collaboration together. Right. It looks crazy when it first comes out. That. <laughs> it's weird. You can put this on your, your for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Fragrance three. Beautiful. Do you know what I think I'm gonna quickly whack on? 
and then I'm going to go and wash. Ooh. Ring lights falling down. Ring lights falling down. Right, what I'm going to whack on is some um, Luxury Illuminating Tan Drops by Lucura. And I'm going to quickly go and wash my hand. hands. You're meant to rub it in with moisturiser, but I've got plenty of moisturiser on my face at the minute. Right, huh? Pop it down my neck as well, so there's not a big line around my face. Oh, right, let's quickly wash my hands. Right, I'm back. Um, I think I'm just going to use the glue out of this one because it's already open. These are the um, just the classic French ones that I was wearing last week. I don't need to move you down to see them on my dressing table, do I? I'll put them on and then I'll show you. So I'll, I'll, I'll still chat along to you while I'm um, while I'm doing it. So I've got. A couple of collaborations coming up. Um, so, yeah, I've got a couple of things to do during Vlogmas. These are quite long, you know. I have to file these down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I've got that to do during Vlogmas. And also, what was I going to say then? Collaborations come in. I've got other parcels coming as well, so I'll show you them when they arrive. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sort these out, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I've got them all sorted now, so I'm just going to use this sticky little file in here in the old nails and just buff up the top of my nails before I stick them on. I've got to bring up my file, so I've just got a little tiny one. It will do the job. And there's little, like, tiny bits of glue still on my nails. So I just buff them off. Um, Tonight, I don't know what I'm going to make tonight. Something quick and easy, I think. I think I'm going to stick a jacket potato in. Do you fancy a jacket potato with spicy beans and cheese? And I've got some coleslaw as well, if you want a bit of coleslaw with it. So I'm going to do that, I think. Nice and easy Saturday tea. This dressing table needs sorting again. Uh, Filed on my nails, they're looking absolutely shocking at the minute. I've been biting them two bits, so I'm just gonna whack the glue on my nail. Whack that on like that. There's the first one. I'm not overly keen, but it'll do. Oh, that's flipping glue on my dressing table. Get that off. That's annoying. Right, I'm going to quickly whack these on and then I will show you when I am done. Right, there we go. I've put them on. I've filed the, the corners off because they were really, really sharp and they're quite thin nails. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? But look, you, if you get the air behind them, they're just sort mm. I've got more nails on their way anyway. These were just really, really cheap. I've got some Christmas nails coming. I think when I get downstairs, because look how long they are. I don't normally have long nails like this. When I get downstairs, I think I'm going to use the nail clippers and clip them down a lot shorter, file them up a bit more, and then... Fingers crossed, 
my Christmas nails are over in the next few days. So that is it. Like I said, I was going to slot in a little snippet of where I put a tea light in the wax melt burner, oil burner. And then it obviously shows you it shining through the little angel wings. So once again, thank you so much to whoever bought that for me. Um, please leave it in the comments below who it was. Um, I absolutely love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to put these nails away now, just the spare ones that I've got. I'm going to go downstairs and figure out what we're having for dinner. It's about, I think it's about half five now. So it's not too late. Um, I still feel thirsty, so I'm going to go and get myself a Ribena and glug away at that. I feel very, very thirsty today. And that is it. So I hope you're all doing really, really well. Really, 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 really well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.